Do you want to give your heart knife to God and Jesus? Don't forget to call CBN 1-800-775-9413. Tell them you want to say the sinner's prayer. And they'll send you an awesome little book booklet about coming to know Father God and Jesus. Says Jesus returning. Uh, so I had an amazing dream seven years ago. Jesus returned. He came back. I got left behind. But praise God, it was a warning. According to Joel 2 verse 2 8. So I was able to give my heart and life to God and Jesus. Um, you can too. So praise God for that. Mm, again, it was a testimony. Somebody shared a two-page testimony. Abraham at Blade George's testimony. The Celestial Traveler by Glenn Herman. He was up God in his testimony. And that's all it took with somebody sharing Jesus on Facebook. I was like, what is that? <laughs> Why are they sharing Jesus on Facebook? And I clicked on it because I was worried. I had two small babies at the time. And um, they were taking a nap, and I read it. I thought it was an amazing testimony. Again, it was two pages long. Um, I printed it off and shared it with people. But I, I think a month later, kind of forgotten about it. But I remember I had gotten ordered a new chain for my cross, and I had gotten that fixed. <laughs> I remember being exciting to put on my cross, said a prayer, and went to sleep. I said, probably said the Lord's Prayer and uh, just went to sleep. And in this dream, it was so real. It was so whatever it did. I looked down at my wrists and I remember looking down at them thinking, what? Why am I in chains? And that looked like these, they went from like the top of my wrist to towards the bottom. So about there, about that much of my wrist that is showing from there to there. There was this huge frowed chain and it looked like shackles. Um, so in scripture, there's a scripture where um, Jesus is talking to the Pharisees um, and they yell at him and say they haven't been a slave since they were set free in Egypt. And uh, what they were really were, were slaves to sin. Uh, you know, he talks about uh, the enjoyed nice things. Um, so before Jesus came to and <laughs> uh, that thing, they um, they almost wiped out the, the Jewish people again. And um, they were going through a really hard time. But they celebrate that. Um, and, it, and it seems like it barely talks about the... Something about the celebrating of the lights, and it's a very short, like, um, but she said he's not going up to celebrate that because, oh, anyways, uh, they had the like candles and miraculously the candles stayed lit. Um, again, that was the time they were almost like it seemed like wiped out, and uh. They got things kind of restored, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of interesting history. When they go back and do all the history stuff for in the Bible. <laughs> and even if you don't believe in Jesus, you're still writing. 2,021 years ago, Jesus died on the cross for your sins. <laughs> and, you know, there, it says, you know, on the seventh day, God rested. And so everybody always takes Saturday or Sunday off to rest. <laughs> <laughs> whether they believe in Jesus, Father God, whatever or not. So hopefully you ask Jesus into your heart and life um, and turn away from sins, turn away from hopefully going to the wrong churches. Jesus is not a religion. He's not a religion at all. Because I know when I was in my younger days, <laughs> I went to like boarding school and there was these different churches. And I remember trying to walk in the Catholic church and they said, no, do you have to be Catholic or something? And they turned me away. Um, and then trying to go into um, my grandma's Russian Orthodox, trying to go in that church one time too. And they were like, no, you have to be Russian Orthodox to come in here. Get out. <laughs> so, you know, I don't, Jesus isn't like that. He's really welcoming. He there's awesome scriptures too where it says, you know, 
the sun doesn't shine on you only the good one <laughs> I think you're getting someone saved and now uh, it shines, shines on the bad people too it shines on all his wolfy religion thingies Jesus is not a religion at all and or not like people try to ask you know are you a Jehovah witness I'm like I'm not a Jehovah witness you <laughs> Ah, they don't believe in Jesus, that he's alive and sitting at the right hand of God. So when they ask that, I tell them, no, because I don't know what their their beliefs are. I don't know, huh? Um, all I know is I've had a dream, and <laughs> this is how I came to know Jesus, and I got saved, and then he started showing me and telling me things, and I was like, oh, what's going on? And so I remember reading, like, when I first came to know Jesus, after I had that Jesus returning dream, I was so scared. I didn't know where to start. I remember going in our room, closing the door, and grabbing the, you know, the Bible. Because, you know, growing up, sometimes you were taught, it's the holy word. <laughs> These are holy scriptures when you read them, you know. Because, you know, in the book of John 2, it talks about, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, so Jesus was in the beginning with God. <laughs> and when you pick up the Bible, I was like, it's the Holy Word, the Holy Word according to <laughs> the first book of Moses. So today I was reading this morning the end of Deuteronomy. I was just uh, finding some scriptures to read. And um, I came across that one. Uh, it's pretty awesome. You gotta read it for yourself. So if you wanna come to know Father God and Jesus, say this prayer. Um, again, I didn't know. I still don't feel like I know that much. I'm still like a. Um, he calls it like a babe, I guess. Um, there's scriptures about that and um, having the milk, I guess, and uh, being new. And so Jesus is returning. It's pretty awesome. He looks good. like to me he was bright as the sun. Um, he's beautiful. And it's been a long seven years, seem like, because he's shown me. <laughs> he still shows me all kinds of things and sometimes I forget that. You know, other people when they look at me, I think kinda look at me like I'm talking crazy like or I shouldn't be talking like that or whatever but to me it's so like fascinating it's like whoa did you know this look at the scripture it's pretty awesome because <laughs> to me it's like it's still new it's still awesome so alrighty hopefully you guys are having a good day anyways he kept telling me too when I was first reading the bible and I had closed my room closed the door to the room I was like I was reading um the book of Genesis, I got to chapter 7, because I didn't know where to start in the Bible. I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> but I knew I was scared after that dream, and I was like, I'm going to find out who this, you know, Jesus is. Uh, even in, like, um, dreams or visions, I've seen him in, like, his, his looking at his eyes, and, like, you know, you can see the eyes, and it looked like the world. The galaxies were dancing in his eyes, and I was looking at him, and I don't know, in that vision, in that dream, whatever. <laughs> when I was first coming to know him, I was like, who are you? <laughs> uh, I was still getting to know him, but I think that's kind of funny, because I still didn't. No, I know my mom, we grew up with um, Jesus, a picture of Jesus in the corner. Um, and my dad and my mom inviting like pastors to come. Um, Mr. Moody and he was pretty cool. He'd take us to vacation Bible school and uh, my aunt, she'd teach us about the twelve apostles and we go and memorize them. And then my grandma would no no pass uh, discipline us and tell us we should go to church. I remember sitting in church and twiddling my thumbs. And when the, the only part that I liked was when sometimes, um, once in a while it seemed like Adam would go and play his guitar and I'd just, you'd uh, just listen, listen to him um, praising the Lord or singing worship songs. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, 
Like, and I didn't know that much about Jesus. I remember, like, my mom would come and visit me while I was going to school or going to college and stuff. And um, she'd always ask that, did you read your Bible? And I'd, just, I'd have a Bible on hand and I'd say, yep, sure, look. But I didn't read <laughs> my Bible. <laughs> I didn't even have a picture of Jesus up, but... You're like, yeah, there's my picture of Jesus, there's my cross, there you go. <sighs> Just to, you know, comfort her and stuff, but I didn't. Sometimes I go, I guess. Um, I'm going with, uh, like, Holly and the mom would go with her to church. and uh, That's pretty cool, their, their church is pretty cool. Um... So again, I didn't know that much growing up. I still feel like I don't know that much going, you know, going forth. But I try to go forth in what he tries to tell me to do or say. And most people know me like growing up. I'm, I'm still pretty. <laughs> I'm shy and reserved and, you know, keep to myself. I enjoy like reading books and <laughs> doing stuff. I'm like learning and I can't believe, like, other people don't find things fascinating and really delve into it. Like, whoa! <laughs> so, alright, if you want to give your heart and life to God, and Jesus, say this prayer. It's a sinner's prayer. Again, I can't save you, but I know the one who can. And if you need healing, he's so real. Just believe that. You have to believe that like a little kid. Like, you really, if you're feeling pain, that he has that on his hand. He really took a... Kneel on that cross for your sins, so praise God. Amen. Talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.